Uh, Jonas Corposalo is the new starting goaltender for the Ottawa Senators. Something you suggested, Dave Poulin, a little bit earlier in the show. At four years per and five years, your immediate reaction to the signing start here. I love it. I absolutely love it. It gives Matt Sogart time to just settle. You've got Anton Forsberg. You've still got an injury issue with him, but this solidifies a position that Otto has been looking for the last couple of years. They got off to slow starts because of their goaltending. They've been through a bunch of them. I think this is a great move for them. Well, yeah, and you look at the, the acquisitions they've made over the years, whether it's up front with Giroux. Now, all of a sudden, their back end is shored up. Jake Sanderson's coming along, and the big question mark has been where has their goaltending been getting meaningful saves at the right time? And now they're looking like they're going to have a tandem, right, in Anton Forsborg, Corpus Allo. I love that you mentioned Mad Sogard. they got to give him time. He's 6'7", strong goaltender, but they got to give him time to flourish and get into that role. Goal scoring has been up a, couple, uh, a little bit in the last couple of years, James, maybe a lot, but for the most part, you're going to get like 60% of the games of the 3-1, 3-2s. And it seemed like Ottawa, and I would see you and Noodles and Pooley and you guys between the benches, seemed like a lot of times, James, after the first period, it was 4-1 for yeah. the other team. Yeah. Yeah. And Brady Kachuk had to go out there and fight somebody to try to get back into the hockey game. And then the goaltender couldn't shut the door. They have to mature as a group to stay in those hockey games. And it all starts between the pipes. If you don't have a goaltender, you don't have a chance. So hopefully this solidifies that area. Corpus Allo, of course, spent most of his career with the Columbus <clears throat> Blue Jackets, came over to L.A. last year and was very effective as the Los Angeles King. Worth noting that he had had some injury issues. And a couple of years ago, his performance wasn't quite as good. Mm -hmm. He had double hip surgery last yeah. summer. Last year was the first year in like three years he's been healthy. Never talked about it. Never complained about it, never said it was the reason why he was struggling a little bit in Columbus when his game tailed off, but he wasn't healthy. If yeah. your hips aren't right as a goalie, you have no chance. So I think what he showed last year is closer to a true reflection of who he is as a goalie. Now, he won't get the kind of support in Ottawa that he got in L.A. where he mm -hmm. gave up basically two or fewer every single time he played. But I do like this as a fit, and they had to hit it. They have to get this right. They cannot afford to miss no. this decision. There are other goalies out there. They chose theirs. I think we all like them for you know, obvious reasons. They got to hit it. It's got to be right. Yeah. Second big shot for Pierre Dorn at this. Matt Murray was the first who got a lot yeah, of money right. and a lot of term, and that just didn't, didn't work. work out. Corpus Allo, a little less money. Similar term, but let's uh, hear from the goaltenders on this one. All right, guys, let me put it to you. Jonas Corpus Allo, five by four. What do you guys think? It's a great signing. Four million a year for a guy who can be your number one goaltender. And you just heard the panel talk about Matt Sogard, mm -hmm. a six seven goaltender. He needs seasoning. You know, he's forced and pressed into duty last year down the stretch because of the injuries to Forsberg, because of the injuries to Cam Talbot. And I think he's the goaltender of the future. But right now, we just I just use the word future. You need goaltending right now. You get a healthy Forsberg, and then you get a he healthy Jonas Corposalo. I, I think this is a fantastic move for general manager Pierre Dorian. No downside on that. I had the same dollar amount put aside for a goalie in Ottawa. I just didn't think it was going to be Corpus Allo. I had Freddie Anderson, right, as we right. talked uh, you know, at the start of the show. So, um, But I think Corpus Allo, what he did to me is, number one, he proved that when healthy, he can definitely play at a high level. And it took a while for Corpus Allo to get back to 100% full health after some trouble times with the Columbus Blue Jackets. And then he goes to L.A. and really solidified what he can do. Now, he took a dip down in the playoffs, unfortunately for him, against the Edmonton Oilers, he faced no, well, Dry Side, Don't Make David, and everybody. Though, so, yeah. so I, that's why I think Corpus Allo could have been even more a four and a half to five million dollar goaltender with the way he played in the regular season. It dropped down a little bit. I think four is a respectable number. Five years is a little much for me when you took, think of Corpus Allo, but Ottawa needed to get somebody, and now the market is is, is disappearing. But you're trying to you're trying to get Sogard in to get some games, and you're bringing in a guy now for five years. Are you delaying his development? No. Because when you're committing to Corpus Allo no, for five years. Forsberg has one more year on his deal after this. So you're actually paving a, uh, a pathway for him to get uh, seasoning in the minors, yeah. and then Corpus Allo can lead that. But again, if you look at the last couple years, the Ottawa Senators starts, they, they've been behind the eight ball because in their first 15 games. They haven't got the saves that they've needed. They couldn't do it last year because of the injury to Cam Talbot. He was out for the first five weeks. So Forsberg had to run with the ball. If you have two guys that are capable of playing right from the drop of the puck, and if you look at their schedule, I think the first 13 out of 17 games is on home ice. You can really make some hay to start the season. I think this is a great sign. The way Corpusello plays, really athletic, very quick lateral, flexibility, all of that. So obviously that's 
the way the goaltenders are going, like Vasilevsky, Shesterkin, Saros, like they're much more athletic. You look at a Hellebuck, who's more of a structured goaltender. You look at a Freddie Anderson, who's more of a structured goaltender. So it, it was a choice there, right? What do we want? What do we think fits with our team? I think they looked at Corpus Allo, saying that it fits more with the way that the Ottawa Senators play, a little bit more chaotic in front. Uh, but let's not forget that Anton Forsberg is also coming back from double knee surgery. So how is he going to be? Maybe that takes a little bit Needs longer to recover. Time. And Sogard yeah. might yeah. play yeah. some games this year uh, with the Ottawa Senators I, I, as well. I think he's going to. Keep in mind there was 119 goalies that played in the league last year. Ottawa had seven of them. Yeah, I know. had seven guys that played in net with them, including guys Dylan in Ferguson. different colors. Gear well, too. It is. <laughs> it, it's unfortunate. You need stability at that position. You need a three-headed monster, not a two. That's where Sogard will get some time. I love the fact that you made that point because now the message is being sent clearly. With the number of goaltenders we've already seen as backups and now number one in Jonas Corpusello, the message is very clear. You need a goalie. Get on it quickly before the music stops and there's no chair for you to sit on. Mm -hmm. James? Uh, gentlemen, thank you. Let's get more reaction from the nation's capital. Our senator's reporter, Claire Hanna, is with Bruce Garriock. Thank you very much, James. And yes, one of our senators, insiders. And Bruce, when we were talking earlier today, you mentioned you'd spoken with General Manager Pierre Dorian yesterday. We knew a priority for the senators today was going to be in adding a goaltender. They've got Jonas Corposalo. How high on the list was this for Pierre Dorian? Well, I think he was number one on their list, Claire. I really do think so. I think this is a guy that the Senators kicked tires on at the deadline when he was with the Columbus Blue Jackets. They, they wanted to bring him in then and sign him to an extension. I think they looked at today and, and they had a, a list of basically four goaltenders. One was Corpus Allo, Anderson, uh, Varlamov, and I think the other was Tristan Jerry. And I, I think that they got the guy who was number one on their list. He's a guy who can helped support Anton Forsberg. Forsberg is coming back from two MCL injuries. Uh, he's a guy who's going to push him for playing time. I think they're probably very, very happy with this addition, Claire, because it shores up an area where they need help and gives Mad Silgard time to develop. Now, you said they're bringing Corpus Allo in to support Anton Forsberg. You mentioned his MCL injuries. Anton Forsberg, at the end of the season, said he would be ready for training camp. But I'm curious how this could shake out. You mentioned Mad Sogard. He's the future of this organization. Brady Kachuk said he believes Sogard is going to be the guy to lead them to a Stanley Cup. So, you know, how does all that shake out in the end? Well, I think what's going to happen here is Sogard gets to spend the year in Belleville. One of the things they want to do, Claire, is they want to have a good year in Belleville as well. Not only does this team, uh, you know, want to make the playoffs up here, but they also want to help their AHL affiliate. I, I think if you look at the situation they're in right now with Corpus Allo, he is going to push Forsberg. There's no question in my mind. They would like to have a 1A, 1B situation, much like the Boston Bruins did last season with Allmark and Swayman. But I think they're also looking at a situation where they, if Corpus Allo wants to be a number one goalie and he shows he can do it here, he's got that opportunity. Now, we have to talk about forward Alex Dabrinkin, okay? He's a restricted free agent. We know that right now the Senators are looking to try to trade him. He might go to arbitration. What are you hearing on the latest about the guy who scored 27 goals last year but is a promising goal scorer? Well, Detroit has always been looked at as a front runner, Claire. Now, they aren't right now. They're actually not in the mix. Mm -hmm. There have been a couple of new teams added to the mix here in the last 24 hours. I think there's genuine and solid interest in Alex Brinkett. I think the organization feels that it's in their best interest to get him off the books because they've got other signings to make. They've got to figure out what they're going to do with their third and fourth lines. I, I think that they would like to get an Alex Brinkett trade done here in the next couple of days. I do believe they think they're going to get a roster player in return when that happens. So if they, if the faster they can move that, the more they can get on with their business because you and I have looked at that depth chart in the fourth line, third and fourth lines, and they need some help there. Yeah, definitely on the wing side, as we mentioned earlier. Thank you very much, Bruce. Back to you guys.